Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. Let's uh, talk a little bit about offensive security terminology and what they mean. So first up, a vulnerability scan. So this is solely running a tool to find security vulnerabilities on your network. Um, it can only find the really, really basic stuff. So don't expect it to find anything that's not super obvious. Believe it. So the second one is a penetration test. Different to a vulnerability scan, it's very much human driven. So it's a person looking for issues, looking for vulnerabilities in your network that really bad guys could take advantage of to cause some impact. It's very much context aware, which means um, we're taking into account your specific business uh, when we're doing this to find vulnerabilities that might exist specific to your business. Usually there's a fixed scope involved which means we're testing you know a bite-sized part of your organization maybe your web application or your internal network infrastructure then there's red team or a red team exercise hey sit i'm talking about red teams good boy and this is basically as close to a real world hack as you're going to legally get there's the red team which is us and we're up against the blue team, which is in our client's organization. They typically don't know that we're doing this. So us as the red team, our objective, so maybe we're emulating a ransomware actor. So our objective would be, you know, lock down as many machines as we can, um, steal data to ransom it later on, maybe to find backups and delete those backups. Obviously we're not actually doing those things. We're just proving that we could. The Red team engagement is typically really low, slow and stealthy. So they run for about three to six months uh, to allow the red team to really, you know, be as close to that adversary as possible. If the blue team does detect us, great. They get to try and kick us out of the network, potentially not knowing that this is just a red team exercise. So they're supposed to, you know, practice their craft as much as possible. Finally, there's vulnerability assessment. And what does vulnerability assessment mean? Well, it could actually mean quite a lot of different things. I've heard it be used interchangeably for a penetration test or a vulnerability scan, or even just come in and talk to us about potential threats. It has so many meanings, it's kind of become a bit of a useless term, which is why I like to avoid it and uh, pick one of the other ones that we talked about. What do you think? Yeah? You know treat. Good boy. Check out the blog post below. Otherwise, uh, put your questions in the comments and I'll answer them there. Have a good weekend.